Okay, welcome to week seven. So we're going to start talking about hypothesis testing. And for lesson 24, we're just going to introduce the idea. What is it that we're going to do or address when we look at hypothesis tests? So last week when we went through estimation problems and calculated confidence intervals, we wanted to know more about a population characteristic. So maybe I want to know what the average number of hours students spend studying in a week is at all OSU students. So the idea is our goal, we want to estimate a population characteristic. These tend to have question of interest that are open-ended. So what is? Um, researchers want to estimate blank. That, that kind of wording indicates, hey, we want to calculate a confidence interval. This week, we're going to focus on maybe we have a claim or a guess that we want to compare this population characteristic to. So I might ask myself, hey, do students on average at OSU spend more than five hours a week studying? I might want to test that. That's, it's a yes or no question. So we're trying to test the validity, like, is this claim a reasonable claim to, to make? And to address this, we're going to use hypothesis testing. So we're going to set up hypotheses, test statistics, and use those to calculate p-values. So some examples, I might want to test the average ride time against an advertised time. I might want to test the proportion of parts that are defective at a manufacturing process um, compared to the, the standard. So a lot of places, if the proportion of products that are coming out defective, if it goes above a certain level, that indicates we need to stop the process and fix the machine, recalibrate. Um, so that those are just a couple of, of reasons we might use a hypothesis test. So this particular problem, we're going to use it throughout most of the lessons for this week. We have a high-speed train that goes between Florence and Rome in, in Italy. And this particular company, they advertise that the average time to go between these two cities uh, on this train system is 94 minutes. The website states the train times vary on average about 10 minutes. So just remember, very on average, this is talking about a standard deviation. That's what that language means. So here, though, is we have someone who suspects, you know what, whenever I take this train, I'm a little late. I think on average, it actually takes longer than the 94 minutes they're advertising. So they go ahead, they decide to take a random sample of 25 ride times between the two cities on this train system. and they find that the average of those 25 train times was 99 minutes. So one thing that we're going to be looking at is if it, the average train trip time between the two cities really is 94 minutes as claimed, what is the probability that if I took a random sample of 25 rides that it would be 99 minutes or longer? So that's the kind of question that we're going to use. And that's going to take us into lesson 25.